Let's talk a little bit about financial management skills for the entrepreneur. Basically, I want to talk about when your business is growing. You've got a couple customers, you have sold a few deals, and now you're wondering, now what? What do you do once your business has started to succeed? It has gotten to the very initial stages of success. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. In today's video, I want to answer that with a five step process. Here are five things I recommend once your business starts growing. Number one is you need a war chest. That means at least three months of expenses in your business bank account at minimum before you start taking massive profits. And I know it's tempting. And I've made this mistake before where you make a bunch of money and then all of a sudden you want to pull money out. The problem with that is your business has just started to succeed. Just because you sold X amount this month does not mean you're going to sell that same amount the next month. And you need to be in risk mitigation mode because if you run out of money and you're at zero again, now all of a sudden you're just starting out. You have the opportunity now that you've made some money to start thinking bigger. And if you lose that money, you lose that ability to think bigger. So save at least three months of expenses in your war chest. And that means keep your salary as low as possible. You should be running a lean operation, not hiring, not doing anything in this period while you build up that war chest. Do the work yourself. I know it's tough. I know we talk about outsourcing a lot of the work. Do not do that in this period of your business. Save your money. Just because you're growing now does not mean you'll be growing forever or even the next month. Your sales could dry up tomorrow. So make sure you have some cash to last you through the lean times by staying lean. What you're doing here is using your momentum to buy yourself time. Then the second thing you do, number two, is hire. Once you have that war chest, you can use the new money coming in to outsource one task that you hate doing. That's the quick note here is do not outsource sales right at this moment. I'll talk about that later in this video, but sales is the last thing you should outsource. It's too important at this point. When you're just starting a business, you need to be on top of revenue generation because it's so fickle. It will go away in a second if you don't stay on top of it in the early days. Then once you've hired a couple tasks that you don't wanna do, so your time is freed up to focus more on sales, then number three is you want to invest in growth. And what does that mean? What channel are you allowed to grow? Is that cold email? Is it advertising? How do you know? The channel that I recommend growing is the one that got you to this point. If you have three clients and your business is growing and you got all three of those from cold email, spend money on cold email. If you got them from Facebook ads, spend more money on Facebook ads. If you got them from conferences, go to another conference. Invest in the channels that are already working for your business. And I recommend spending at least 30% of your revenue on growth using channels that already work for you. And that will mean that it's not money wasted. If you're already getting 10 clients from cold email and then you decide to spend 30% of your revenue and are able to drive that to 100 clients, guess what? Your business is now in the scale phase. It's not in the early stages anymore. So you're not exploring at this phase. You have something that works. Even if it's something like you're getting all your clients from Upwork, invest more in Upwork. Optimizing your profile, maybe hiring a consultant to look at what you're sending, get your rates up, invest in what is already working and you can win here. Once that's done, once your business is growing and you have your war chest, then it is time to hire sales. Now that you're growing consistently, hire a director of sales so that you don't have to deal 100% with the selling. And your revenue should be at a point where you don't have to worry, you have the war chest even, where if the director of sales fails for the next three months, you can still put the pieces together. So the risk of hiring and outsourcing your sales is way lower at this point, and that's why we waited this long to outsource this. Number five is research and development. Once that's done and you're growing consistently, you can spend the rest of the money on research and development. And let me give you a couple examples. For marketing, that means finding new growth channels. So let's say cold email was the way you're getting most of your clients. Now you're spending money on Facebook ads to try to see if that works or Google ads, or maybe you're investing in a conference. You're trying other things to try to open up new channels so that you can scale those later. If it's research and development related to your product, that means you are finding new services to offer. You're finding new products to offer to customers. You're innovating on the product side. What can you offer to new customers? What can you offer to current customers to increase your revenue on the product side? And finally, that's improvement in the other areas. So you're finding incremental ways to improve your business on all sides, whether it's better customer service or adding a better refund policy or surveying your customers to find out what new products to even create. So innovation around the marketing, the product, 
and incremental improvement. So your business is growing and now what do you do? You need a war chest, number one, then you hire, then you invest in growth, hire sales, and finally you do a bunch of research and development. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Hey, are you still thinking about investing in Facebook or Google ads to grow your business? Well, I just did and it took me $10,000 to break even. So unless you have that to drop before you see any results at all, I highly recommend you look into cold email because it's a better and cheaper way to kickstart your business. And honestly, I wish I would have invested the 10K in cold email. I would have seen a much bigger return and have in the past. Hop in email 10K and watch the free presentation. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to subscribe for more business videos like this. We do a ton of these on this channel. Check out our course, email 10K, if you wanna learn how to grow your company by booking meetings with billion dollar brands. It's a great time to invest in a course like this. There's a lot of opportunity out there. Like this video to encourage this type of content and comment below. Is there something we missed? We'd love to get a conversation going. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.